What can we say? The world is a deadly place. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most dangerous substances. Uh, from a medical standpoint, from a scientific standpoint, uh, think of sarin as a, uh, known as a neurotoxic agent, sort of turning on all the various uh, systems in the body. For this list, we're looking at substances that are specifically dangerous to humans, rather than substances which pose a major threat to the planet in general. The poison in fugu is tetrodotoxin, it's 1,000 times more potent than cyanide, and there is no antidote. We'll be taking into consideration just how deadly each of these substances is, and how regularly human beings are likely to be exposed to them. Asbestos was once widely used in homes and buildings across the US, but is now known as a carcinogen and hazardous substance because of the dangerous health risks from exposure to this toxic mineral. Number 10, mercury. Sure, making hats the old-fashioned way is super badass, but is it really worth the slow descent into madness? The dope ass top hat. Felt hats are awesome, but not that awesome. Mercury poisoning may be most famous for its effects on hatters of yesteryears, who became mad as a hatter as a result of prolonged exposure to mercury vapors used in the hat making process. My goodness, those are the things that upset me. But mercury poisoning is still very much a current concern. The chemical element can be absorbed through the skin via inhalation of the vapor or by ingestion. Well, it affects your entire nervous system if you're getting too much mercury when you eat. Occupational hazards still exist, but organic methyl mercury found on shellfish and fish is probably the biggest concern. It builds up in the body with frequent consumption and can cause serious developmental issues during pregnancy. Number nine. Polonium-210. Well, polonium-210, as it's called, uh, is a radioactive isotope uh, that only occurs in nature through the very long and slow decay of, of uranium-238. Imagine something so toxic that even one millionth of a gram could kill you if ingested. This radioactive isotope is far from your typical metal. Rather than simply interrupting organ and vital system function like most lethal metals, polonium-210 emits staggeringly high levels of radiation that make it very difficult to handle safely. Well, the Russians sprayed sushi with radioactive polonium, but what's more far-fetched? Due to the rarity of this element, it's not a common poison, but it was believed to have been used to kill former Russian FSB agent turned British defector, Alexander Litvinenko. He suffered 23 days of agony as alpha particles ravaged his body before he finally succumbed to the radiation poisoning. Number eight, lead. What if I die? Lead poisoning. Don't worry, your lead pencil isn't killing you. Pencil cores don't contain lead and never have. Oh my God, you did lie to me. They're made of graphite, a non-toxic substance that was referred to as blackened lead at the time of its discovery in the 16th century. I don't even know what's real anymore. Ah! If lead poisoning did occur, it was from the lead in the paint used by manufacturers to coat the pencils. But this practice was halted in the 1950s. In fact, until it was banned outright in the mid-1970s, lead paint was actually the leading cause of lead poisoning for many years in the United States. Unfortunately, lead is still used in some industries, including mining and construction, causing poisoning in some adults. Although capable of wreaking havoc on most vital organs, lead is most harmful to the brain, especially in children. A USA Today uh, network report found lead contamination in almost 2,000 additional water systems spanning all 50 states. Number seven, asbestos. Lead paint isn't the only lethal substance once commonly used in our homes. Cheap and effective, asbestos was the go-to material for insulation for decades. We suggest you consider this material for your home. The term asbestos actually encapsulates six different kinds of fibrous minerals that share similar properties, characteristics, and uses. Unfortunately, one of those characteristics is being extremely harmful to humans. Prolonged exposure to asbestos can result in a number of medical conditions, including cancer and asbestosis. Despite the fact that we've been using it regularly since the 19th century, it took us decades to recognize its risks, given that symptoms take some 15 to 30 years to manifest. Thankfully, as of the 80s and 90s, many countries began phasing out, restricting, or outright banning asbestos. Since the year 2000, more workers have died from asbestos disease in BC than any other workplace injury.
Number six, ricin. When handling the ricin strip, operate with extreme caution. Even momentary flesh contact with the exposed strip is fatal. Arsenic may be the most popular poison of choice historically and in murder mysteries. I'd hate to take a bite out of you. You're a cookie full of arsenic. But as Walter White demonstrated, ricin is far more easily accessible for the average would-be assassin. We are going to process them into ricin. And Taban, used in World War II, might have been the first nerve agent discovered, but the United States military experimented with ricin as early as World War I, making it a poison with a history. Pure ricin can be extracted from castor beans, and just a few grain-sized doses can be fatal. After it passes the blood-brain barrier, your heart rate would shoot up to 160. Your body will strain to reject the poison by profusely sweating, defecating, vomiting. Within minutes, you will be dead. But processing isn't necessary. Consuming 5 to 20 regular castor beans can prove equally deadly. Given that the castor oil plant is a common decorative addition to many gardens, it is therefore all too accessible. Number 5. Cyanide Do you know what it does to you? Hydrogen cyanide? Inorganic cyanide was used in the famous Chicago Tylenol murders, when acetaminophen capsules were laced with it. And cyanide was also used as part of the assassination of Grigory Rasputin in 1916. In its gaseous form, hydrogen cyanide, it was horrifically used by the Nazis to kill as many as 2,000 victims at a time in their gas chambers. As popularized in film and television, it's also been packaged as a fast-acting suicide pill. If captured, it will cause death in nine seconds. Great. But how exactly do I get them to take it? Remember Javier Bardem's character in Skyfall? Well, those pills are real. Though they don't melt jaws like in the film. They were actually given to commandos on risky missions in World War II. Most recently, arsonist Michael Marin killed himself with a concealed cyanide pill immediately upon hearing his guilty verdict. Number 4. Cesium The world's full of poisonous substances, but cesium's toxicity isn't the reason it made the list. In fact, it's only mildly toxic, and you'd be hard-pressed to successfully consume it. But cesium is one of the most volatile elements on the planet. Very, very reactive. This is the most reactive of all the metals. Contact with water anywhere above minus 177 degrees Fahrenheit produces a violent explosion and massive spikes in thermal energy. Oh, it also explodes when it comes into contact with air, making it one of the most pyrophobic substances on the planet. And again, I'm going to take the lid off. Oh, and as soon as I take it off, a little spark came out. As a result, it has to be stored and shipped in mineral oils or glass vials. And only manipulated under inert gas. It's only used in a few specific applications and should inspire fear, awe, and respect. Number three, sarin. Name some signs a person would exhibit if they've been exposed to sarin gas. Vomiting, severe muscle twitches, and then death by choking on their own vomit. Taubin may have been the first nerve agent, but sarin gas wins in terms of notoriety and deadly effectiveness. Discovered shortly after Taban, sarin quickly made a name for itself. No, no, this isn't sarin! We'd be dead already! To put it into context, sarin gas is 28 times more lethal than mustard gas, 81 times more lethal than hydrogen cyanide, and 543 times more lethal than chlorine gas. Ultimately, it's the diaphragm, which is that, that big muscle that allows one to breathe in and out that also goes into a state of convulsive activity and people simply can't breathe. Two minutes of exposure can be fatal, meaning sarin might be one of the most effective intentionally lethal chemical weapons ever employed. Still, Agent Orange, a chemical herbicide used to clear the jungle in the Vietnam War, arguably killed more people in the long run, considering the various terminal illnesses those exposed to the gas later developed. According to environmental studies, high levels of dioxin could still be found in the soil in certain areas and had seeped into nearby lakes. Number two, uranium. I found the yellow cake. Of course you did, it's a bakery. No, not yellow cake cake, yellow cake uranium. Although there is yellow cake cake here as well. This substance really only serves a handful of purposes and they're all nuclear in nature. I come before you today to tell you that the world shall kneel before our great nation 
We are two months away from enriching weapons-grade uranium. Uranium is used in nuclear power plants, which, when properly regulated and maintained, can certainly play a key role in addressing global energy needs. Okay, okay, don't panic. Whatever problem this is, I'm sure they know how to handle it. Oh? Ah, it's my problem! We're doomed! But uranium is also the heart of many nuclear weapons, including Little Boy, the bomb dropped on Hiroshima to devastating effects, both immediately and in the ensuing decades. In addition, failed power plants can be equally destructive in the case of a meltdown, as most notably seen in Chernobyl and, more recently, Fukushima. Forget fire, it's way riskier to play with radiation. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. And then there's chrome 6, hexavalent chromium, which, depending on the amounts, can be very harmful. So how do you do it? Botox injection. Botox? Botox is a diluted form of botulinum. Other bombs explode, right? Eh? But not the hydrogen bomb. It implodes, creating an explosion to the thousandth, the, the millionth degree. Number one, plutonium-239. Doc, you don't just walk into a store and, and buy plutonium. So, among the myriad radioactive substances, what makes this particular isotope of plutonium so very dangerous? First off, it's the material of choice for the most efficient modern nuclear weapons. They wanted me to build them a bomb, so I took their plutonium and in turn gave them a shiny bomb casing full of used pinball machine parts. It does not exist in nature and therefore must be produced in nuclear reactors. In terms of radioactive fission byproducts, plutonium-239 is substantially more radioactive than depleted uranium-238. It's the plutonium-239 in the MOX fuel reactor number 3 in Fukushima that has been the greatest cause for concern following the plant's failure. The radiation emitted by plutonium-239 primarily consists of alpha particles, which thankfully cannot penetrate the skin. However, they can enter the body as dust via the lungs, at which point they travel through the body, pummeling the organs with fatal radiation. Do you agree with our list? What substance would you be most afraid to come across? For more serious top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. The Indians import a lot of Russian asbestos, and they will have the same epidemic of mesotheliomas and other asbestos-related cancers as we have had in the West because they have not learned the lessons that we have that asbestos is harmful and that it should not be used.